My name is Rima Al-Kenli. I'm a diplomat in training at the Emirates Diplomatic Academy. His Excellency, Ms. Asar Bourne, is a Luxembourgish politician who has served in the government of Luxembourg as a Minister of Foreign Affairs since 2004. He also served as a Deputy Prime Minister from 2004 to 2013. In addition to his national mandate, he was appointed a member of the Committee of the Regions of the European Union and in 1984, he was elected to the Luxembourg Parliament for the first time. Welcome to the Emirates Diplomatic Academy, Your Excellency. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much. Shall we start the questions? Yes. Okay. As Your Excellency, a successful politician, why does diplomacy matter? And do we still need diplomats today? Yes, I think that today, uh, more than yesterday, we need uh, diplomats. Uh, we live in a world where the culture of real diplomacy uh, is no more given. And therefore, uh, I can only encourage young uh, people who uh, really want to go in the diplomatic career uh, and tell them that uh, it is necessary that we have uh, diplomats who have uh, a good background, who understand uh, history, uh, who understand the interests, and to understand also the consequences if diplomacy fails. So I can only encourage you uh, to become uh, yes, good diplomats because um, uh, a world without war and a world with living in peace and a world uh, living um, in a, met in a way where uh, everybody in this world uh, has his place. Uh, therefore, we need good diplomacy. So moving to the next question. Based on your long experience, what are the most significant ways that tomorrow's diplomats differ from today's diplomats? Yes, uh, it's not, um, I think, it's not uh, Facebook or Twitter uh, that will be so important in the future or okay we have the digitalization we have the new technologies uh, but uh, also with all these means if uh, the diplomats do not understand the substance they will not be good diplomats so uh, today uh, with this communication technologies everything is known in every second. Uh, but uh, are we able, not, dip, not only diplomats, but also those who are in politics, or the people uh, in uh, the countries, are they able to understand what happens really? And therefore, uh, I think we don't have to expect that um, if we see a title uh, or if we are convinced that um, Yes, uh, an event uh, that is on Twitter described or on Facebook, that this is enough to understand the world. So uh, please, uh, as young diplomats, you have uh, to go deeper and try to find uh, solutions uh, uh, yes, on the, with respect of international law and uh, with uh, respect of uh, uh, others who think differently from you and maybe you have another culture, another, another religion uh, and other or origins. Mm. So you emphasized on the role of going back and reading history, watching people and uh, looking to different cultures in order to, ask, to understand yeah. diplomacy. More. Clear. Okay. Your Excellency, in order to be a successful diplomat, what are the most three important skills that it's necessary for a good diplomat? And which ones do most they lack? <laughs> I think there is uh, no rule to be a good diplomat. A good diplomat uh, has to understand, uh, I say now the world has to understand his country has to understand the moment where he has to react. Uh, he has to uh, have patience, 
a lot of patience sometimes. And uh, yes, and he has to know, I think that problems are not solved sometimes in one minute or in one day or in one week. Uh, most of the problems today, if you see the big problems like uh, migration, like digitalization, uh, like uh, climate change, uh, uh, I can continue, like uh, the defense of humanity, like, uh, yes, rule of law. All these things, uh, they need engagement and uh, therefore uh, I think the most important thing for a diplomat is to, be, uh, to have energy, to be engaged and to be patient. Mm -hmm. I think most diplomats and uh, politicians, they emphasize on the, you have to be passion. Yeah. Like yesterday we had a talk with His Excellency Amrani and yeah. today you emphasize both on the idea yes. of being better. Okay. Uh, moving to the next question. Your Excellency, by the next couple of months, me and my colleagues at the Emirates Diplomatic Academy we are moving to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. So what would be your one key message to diplomats starting out their new career? Yes, you will be a diplomat in your country here. Uh, that's an honor. And then we will be posted. And we will be posted. Uh, not yet in Luxembourg, we, because there is no embassy in Luxembourg. But maybe, maybe in Brussels, for instance. Uh, no, no, without any problem. So, uh, yes, uh, you have as diplomat I think the best experience is like for me, self, myself as a foreign minister. If you are confronted with the reality, if you see in the country how these people live, how the problems are uh, defined, so uh, that is the best school. And therefore, uh, if you go outside, uh, you will uh, defend the way you lived in your country. You will defend your country, you will defend uh, the economic uh, interest of your country and I think you always have to defend uh, what I said already, uh, international law, multilateralism. Uh, this was the base of the world order after World War II and this multilateralism is attacked since 2016 in Europe, since Brexit and in the world with the election of this American president. Uh, so uh, for this president, it is no more uh, international cooperation, and multilateralism, it is patriotism. And I can tell you in Europe, patriotism uh, was something that uh, brought a lot of wars and nationalism uh, in our uh, region. So I don't think that this is the good way. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us an example of a successful diplomacy that you have witnessed or what made it uh, effective? Yeah. <laughs> I repeat what I said already. Uh, I think the European Union tried during 13 years uh, to have an agreement with Iran not to have a nuclear weapon. Good for Iran good for the whole region here, good for Europe, good for the world. Because if one day Iran would have a nuclear weapon, a lot of other countries in this region would also do the same, try to have the same weapons, and then we are in a very, very dangerous uh, uh, yes, evolution. So, uh, this 13 years, in 2015, we came to a conclusion and this was destroyed. You know that uh, the American president uh, destroyed this deal because, I think, <laughs> above all, it was his predecessor, Obama, who made the deal. Here, uh, I, I, th this was a mistake. And you know that hundreds, even thousands, and tens of thousands of hours of diplomats had been necessary to be able to make this deal. And this was destroyed, and that's for me one of the biggest mistakes after World War II, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my last question is, as we know, Luxembourg was a member of the UN Security Council uh, in 2013 to 2014. What's your advice for the small countries who are aspiring to serve the UN Security Council? 
I think you are not a small country. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you will be a candidate for 22, Hopefully. I think. 22 to candidate. Yeah. That's decided. 20, and I am convinced that you will make it also. So what we have done as Luxembourg during our two years in 13-14, we tried to be helpful, uh, for instance, in defending the interest of children uh, in a war, in a conflict, in an armed conflict. Uh, we tried to bring uh, the five uh, big countries in the European, in the, in the Security Council, you know who it is, Russia, America, China, France and uh, UK, to have a result, to accept three resolutions on humanitarian help at this moment in Syria, cross-line help. And this was very helpful uh, at this moment. So I think that every country uh, who will be member of the Security Council has possibilities, mm, let's say, to, to show that it can be very, very useful, yes, with soft power, if this is the right word. Soft power directed to humanitarian help. So, Your Excellency, Mr. Asselborn, many thanks for taking the time to share with us your insight. It was a pleasure talking to you. And on the behalf of the students of the Emirates Diplomatic Academy, I, I want to thank you for being with us here today. Thank you. It was an honor for me. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. You.